Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our latest TV talk. Today I'm talking about Star Wars The Clone Wars spin-off ideas. So it's May the 4th, happy Star Wars Day, and Disney released the final episode of The Clone Wars today on Disney+. Plus, and it was very bittersweet. We get the ending of this seven seasons of a great animated series. And with the end of that, I had whole, a whole lot of feelings. I made a video about the episode in particular, which I'll link in the cards in the description below. Uh, but I, it also brought up these ideas of shows that I would like to see spun off from The Clone Wars. Because if I had my choice in it, The Clone Wars would go on forever. Um, but it, since it can't, it's over now. Uh, I thought there are a few different, you know, series or spin-off ideas that you could kind of take from the Clone Wars. And I think the, uh, there's a couple obvious ones, um, but I'm going to go over the three that I kind of just thought were cool and would be cool to explore in mini-series. Now, this is where I would kind of think maybe some people would differ in choice, but I think uh, would be cool to explore some of these ideas in a couple, uh, in th like three different uh, mini series, th three different mini animated series. So the first idea I think is the most obvious one, the one that I think most people would like, and maybe even like a live action version of this, which I wouldn't have a problem with either, which is an Ahsoka Tana spinoff. Now this is the big obvious one, Ahsoka Tana being the big focus, the fo one of the focal characters of the Clone Wars series and the, the character introduced in, you know, who solely has been oh not solely she was in rebels too but she was in the one of the biggest characters in the show and so i think that's kind of the, the most obvious one the one that i think a lot of people would be on board with i think it'd be cool to explore it in animation just because that's how we've seen her up to now there's a lot more there's a, not a lot more but there is some more freedom especially when you have uh force users and um Jedi's or lightsaber battles, you get a little bit more freedom in animation. And uh, doing it as a mini series, I think the reason that would be fun is that way you're not exploring her entire, you know, journey after the Clone Wars to, you know, when we see her again in Rebels. But it'd be able to explore maybe a little choice, little adventure she maybe went on through, a little couple little serials, as you will. If you, um, so I thought that would be a really cool one. And like I said, I think that's the very obvious one. We are supposed to be getting a live action Ahsoka Tana in the upcoming Mandalorian season two. So I'm curious to see how, if that A actually plays out. Um, I, I haven't seen Disney confirm this one yet. So, uh, and I, I think uh, Rosera Dawson confirmed it, but I can't remember for sure or not. That's one of those things that I won't believe until I see it, to be honest. I'll have to see a trailer or the episode itself before I 100% believe that's happening. Uh, but yeah, so I think a mini animated spinoff series, though, would be really cool to explore. Just maybe where she immediately goes after this and some more little adventures along the way that kind of led her to being where we find her in Rebels. Uh, so another one of these uh, uh, spin-off ideas I had was, uh, this one's kind of only kind of tentatively connected in that I think a Vader animated series would be really cool. And the way this connects into it being a spin-off of the Clone Wars would be, it'd be him specifically trying to track down Ahsoka via him tracking down other Jedi's. Now I know there are the and there not the animated. There's the cart not cartoons. Wow. There's the comic books where he, and um, other um, written media, you know, novels and stuff where he does hunt down different um, Jedi's after. Uh, Order 66 and after the Clone Wars, but I think it'd be cool to a maybe bring some of those to an animated uh, series in a, the form of a mini animated series, bring a few of the you know choice ones Vader down and stuff like that to an animated a mini animated series. That way we a could it just see more Vader. I just always want more Vader doing cool stuff. I want more of those Vader <laughs> in Rogue One scenes. So a whole se animated series, I think we're he's just doing that kind of stuff would be really awesome and we got to see spoil alert for the clone wars uh season series finale spoiler alert uh spo so yeah we saw a very small clip of vader in that at the very end so a i like the way it fit in the way the vader look fit into the um clone wars animation style and i think it'd be cool to keep going on with that same style and maybe him hunting down some more of Jedi or something along those lines but the premise kind of following the fact that he's maybe trying to also pick up clues for what's happened to Ahsoka Tana uh, and him trying to like figure out kind of resolve that because we do see a little bit of them trying to resolve that in uh, Rebels but we also know that they never confirmed we know. I'm pretty sure we know that they never, they haven't seen each other until Rebels, uh, when they interact in Rebels. So I think it would be interesting to explore this idea of maybe he's been trying to track her down this whole time. It's always been like a step behind or something along those lines. Would be a really cool, interesting series, and you could kind of tie it in uh, with the, the um, 
uh, Ahsoka Tano miniseries I just suggested. Uh, but yeah, so the third and final spin-off idea from the Clone Wars I had was the, probably the most Clone Wars-esque one, which is a spin-off with Rex, the clone, our clone commander, who's the only one of the ones who survives the Clone Wars and um, makes it out of Order 66 uh, w without, you know, turning evil like well not evil but uh, f falling to under the command or control of the empire uh so rex again spoiler alert for the end of uh, clone war this the series finale for clone wars but rex survives at the end and he's one of the only ones one of the only clones who um ahsoka's was able to disable the inhibitor chip of uh or at least that we saw uh, we also know there's at least two more clones because again in rebels there's an episode called the lost commandos where we see rex and two other um clone troopers uh, wolf and gregor so i think a great spin-off series for the clone was a nice cool mini spin-off series would be exploring rex going and finding these other clones going and finding wolf and gregor and potentially other ones that maybe didn't make it to the rebels um the timeline and or to the time in rebels when we find them but i think that would be a great series and the one i think out of all these three that is the most kind of uh i would be the most actually interested to explore maybe a lengthier one one that is maybe longer maybe not necessarily just a mini series maybe mini in the sense of two or three seasons uh where he's you know each season maybe he's trying to track down a different clone and you're seeing him going from like different place to place and having to avoid you know the empire now and so we're seeing the first steps of the empire a little more of the first steps of the empire that i think would be a really great series really great spin-off a really great animated spirit spin-off since we you know we have the clones we have the clone animations and it'd be a great way to kind of expand on that it'd be like the clone wars uh the clone cold wars or something like that i don't know i'm not good with naming stuff but um <laughs> i think that would be a really great series to explore to explore uh, how rex you know was able to reunite with the other clones and maybe learning a little bit more about like him maybe him exploring the idea of trying to save more clones than just you know uh wolf and greg or maybe just trying to figure out some way he could maybe he has some kind of mission where he's trying to disable the inhibitor trips in all clones so that he can kind of rescue his brothers in a sense so i think a series with him i'm not you know obviously a star wars writer but i think a series with him would be a great spin-off to the clone wars and kind of great continuation on for that character uh we did get a great kind of fitting uh obviously with the um the rebels uh, story with the rebels episode and getting a little bit more of his story seeing that it was great to see that he lives on past especially since that when we see that rebels episode we hadn't seen this final season of clone wars yet so we didn't really fully know how his story had ended or how he got to that rep point in rebels and we still have a big gap you know between him leaving the clone wars and him making it to some random planet where he's walking around in a walker so i'd really like to a series where maybe explore a little bit more of that and him reuniting with his clone uh his fellow clone troopers um so yeah those are the three star wars clone wars spin-off ideas that i had I'm sure let me know in the comments below what you thought of these three ideas and if you had any ideas for uh, for spin-off series from the clone wars or any other animated or star wars series you'd like to see i know we just had announced today that taco atiti is going to be handling one of the next star wars movies and that's pretty exciting but i'm curious to hear what everyone else's thoughts are on what they would like to see more of from star wars everyone's got a different thing that they want more from star wars i like a star wars tv series especially but anyways that's my all my thoughts on this um on the star wars cl uh, clone wars spin-off ideas I'm sure let me know again in the comments below your thoughts on these thanks again for joining me today if you want to see more my thoughts on more star wars stuff i've linked a star wars playlist at the end of the video but thanks again for joining me today subscribe channel if you're not already and have a good one